will kill Kim Jong Un. Totally. It's one of the most watched film trailers in history, and now people will get the chance to see the whole movie in some places following Sony's change of heart. Hello, North Korea! North Korea took offense. The US blamed them for a massive cyber attack, but there's been a strong reaction here against studio self-censorship. Sony said the reason it pulled the film was that the big theater companies didn't feel safe showing it after they had threats online of attack if they did. But the studio's been under a lot of pressure since then and has now decided to a limited theatrical release on Christmas Day. In a statement from the chief executive, they continued, we're continuing our efforts to secure more platforms and more theatres so that this movie reaches the largest possible audience. The Texas-based Alamo Drafthouse is one of the small cinema chains which has taken a stand and will now show the film on Christmas Day. I think it's really the outpouring of, of people uh, all over the US and the world who want to support you know, freedom of creativity, freedom of expression, uh, and, and support cinema. Yes, I think they made a mistake. I wish uh, they had spoken to me first. President Obama joined the critics last week, piling pressure on Sony. Tonight, the White House said he applauds the decision, saying in a statement, we're a country that believes in free speech and the right of artistic expression. Police here in Hollywood said they would increase security at theatres if requested, most cinema goers welcomed the about turn. You know, to be honest, it looked interesting, but I, I didn't like pay that much attention to it before, but because of everything that's happened, now I'm going to go see it. <laughs> People should be able to express themselves in, in, in any way they feel comfortable to, to do so. It's got really bad reviews. I don't have any interest in seeing it. I ain't scared of no hackers. <laughs> the film's producer, Seth Rogen, who also stars in the film, tweeted, The people have spoken. Freedom has prevailed. And his co-star, James Franco, said victory. The president and the people have spoken. What started as a Christmas comedy has become quite the seasonal thriller. Cyber attacks, terror threats and an international incident. But all of it, drama Sony Pictures could do without. Alice Leithhead, BBC News, Los Angeles.